Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come together to meditate on God's word and pray. This week we've been talking about choices. Numbers chapter 14 verses 8 to 10. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, for they are our bread. Their protection has departed from the Lord, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. And all the congregation said to stone them with stones. Now the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of meeting before all the children of Israel. After a long trek in the wilderness, the Israelites were within view of the promised land which God had spoken to them of. They sent 12 spies into the land. And out of the 12 spies, two of them, Joshua and Caleb, came back saying that the land had rich produce, green pastures, and rich soil. But the other 10 spies said that conquering the land would be impossible because there were giants and fortified cities. The people whined and complained. But the two spies, Joshua and Caleb, reminded everyone that God had promised them the land, that the land was their inheritance. However, things didn't turn their way. They wanted to kill Joshua and Caleb. So God decided that because of their grumbling, because of their complaining, a different and more trusting generation will inherit the land. Forty years later, God helped Israel to conquer that land under the leadership of Joshua. It's interesting to note that the name Joshua means God saves. God used Joshua to save his people and to enter them into the promised land. Sometimes we can be afraid of what lies ahead of us. There may be mountains, there may be giants that we see. People may look bigger and situations may look impossible, but we have a choice. We can either be like Joshua and Caleb to say that this land belongs to us and we will occupy it. Or we can be like the 10 spies say that it's too difficult we, and it's not on our hands. Do you trust the one who saves? Do you trust the Lord that he can move every mountain, that he can make every crooked path straight, that the Lord is fighting for us and if he has promised us, he will give it to us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for what we learned today, Lord. That we have a choice to either complain or to worship you. We pray, God, that we will worship you in every season, through every challenge, through every mountain. That, Lord, we will not look at the challenges ahead of us, but we will look at your promises. For you are bigger than the mountains. You are bigger than the challenges. We thank you, Father, that our eyes are fixed on you, that you will walk with us and you will lead us through. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.